Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a construction review. And this one's on the uh, trio of DC uh, billable figure sets from 2012, of course. So on the front of each box, of which have the Lego DC Superheroes logo, of course, but with that blue border there. But as we get into Marvel ones, kind of similar, but with red board. Well, at least they had this for a little while, of course. You see little symbols of each one, like, of course, for the time of 2012, only Green Lantern set that there ever was, well, until 2015 or so, but yeah. And of course, the bat symbol, of course, and picture of each set that comes within, and their own logos, of course, and also the age recommendation name, amount of and then set number, amount of pieces. And then onto the back of each of them, of each box. You can see the different kind of building compositioning of them, like built in different ways, and also a little circle of the uh, CCBS system that there is, and also the combination models that there are. And also this little thing that there is that says friction joint for a bigger building. Of course, not sure if that's like, like a full statement or whatever. And that's about it with the boxes. And now onto the instruction manuals, of which same picture as on on. All three boxes, of course, but odd thing is that some of these, of which that they that uh, paper that the paper in it, which is not like super glossy or anything, but or if anyone knows why that is, comment below. But yeah, also on the front page, of which is a little comic strip really to each of them. Also on the back is how to win on the online survey. And then out of Lego Club and add for some of the other first wave DC superheroes type sets that there were. And then add for a Hero Factory Breakout with from the time which I previously reviewed for Throwback Thursdays. And then add for the other two figures and the combination models that they make, of course. And the pieces that come with each set and Final steps. Okay, so start things out is with Green Lantern. And of course, from first glance, first thing that you notice is that there's actually is this uh, green color, uh, which which is quite similar to 2015 or 2015 16 Libra as ones, but at least probably first time seeing that. Well, whereas that was 2015, this is 2012, of course. So at least interesting seeing it here. Great seeing it here then. So onto the foot, to the feet here, which, as you see, just the regular old CCBS or Hero Factory feet, but in this green color, which which you can definitely use with some, uh, like Toa of Air or, or Jungle Mocks. Most that there are, and also those extra large armor pieces, also in green, in the green color for that. So like further off, which is 
metallic gunmetal uh, size 5 armor pieces, but although I think would have been better in at least black for that, since of course, oftentimes most Green Lantern outfits have a lot of black there. But also, I did notice are the little friction joints, which kind of extend for that. And of course, since this time, 2012, was the first time these were ever introduced for that. And if you notice, there's a little bit in there that's rubber, so you can help get extra stability through that. Okay. And so now for the chest plate piece, which under half of which, just as any old Hero Factory uh, 2.0, 3.0, a chest plate piece, but of course, but also the same exact uh, armor top bit piece as we saw with Black Phantom from the time, or and some of the villain sets from this time, and, but also a lot in in Bonacle 2015, of course. But in this case, nice to see in this green color, and of course, but although has the Green Lantern symbol on it, of course. So as for the arms of which, as you just, all the regular old uh, CCBS pieces, of course, but also this one that is from Bulk 3.0, which now exclusive to him in white, which nice to see there, of course. And also the hand, regular hand piece in white, although it would be nice if both of these were in green, and since sometimes are in green, of course. But all of the other armor which is of course wielding what Lego.com calls the Morning Star, which is that or otherwise just a construct of, of the made from the ring, of course. Although it would have been nice if if one this hand had a ring piece printed on there, but whatever. And that's if you notice there's a too long rod there. Or, which first time, and of course, first time seen in a long time for that. And so, on the top part of which, which is actually just like one half of a uh, Black Phantom's mace piece, but in translucent green. Nice to see there. And also, can like spin around, of course. Although, kind of representing a, like it's a construct getting formed, but yeah. And onto the headpiece, and of course this representing the Hal Jordan version of that. But however, the uh, face sculpting of which done kind of all right for that, but also with the green mask part of which. And of course, why like here? Why this version? Well, since the previous year to that did have the movie of that with, or the Ryan Reynolds movie related to that, but. Which of course kind of flopped for that, but yeah. But also on the back side of which, do you get this kind of bit, like a backpack kind of piece, but it's actually just these extra large CCBS shell pieces, but all in green. Oh, it's great to see use for mocking, of course. Even though without it, just not much going on. And so now I guess that's about it with Green Lantern. And now on to Batman. Now you're probably wondering. Or, or uh, action, or what I mean is all the he which appears to be in the kind of blue version, which still sometimes, kind of, which in some appearances kind of does. Even though you'd, we'd all probably prefer to see this in black, but although you can like modify it you know, by him to do so, but yeah. So for the whole leg builder, which pretty much about the same as Green Lanterns, but 
with six long armor plates instead of five longs. And also the chest plate piece. Also the same, but in blue with the bat symbol on it. But all the one set of Grilled Grocco's Bananas, I think. Yeah. Oh, which did have this, but same print, but the piece in black, which you can add on to if you wanted. But yeah. But also, he was first time having these uh, armor pieces, but or chest armor plate, plate pieces, but in blue. Which you can still definitely use for mocking if you wanted. Although for the arms, which I think the maybe they I think should have used like some like smaller uh, armor pieces for that, and also also a little bit longer of the arm for that. But yeah, and also to get two of these new sword-like pieces, which. But in black and silver, which nice to nice to see here and use for mocking. And of course, you, these did also come on Black Phantom and uh, Breakout Breeze, of course. And so now for the headpiece of which, which kind of well captures Batman quite a bit, despite it being blue and. And of course, this kind of like, of course, this is blue cowl without the chin strap part to finish. And to the back side, which you, of course comprises mostly the smaller torso piece, and also with those extra long limb pieces, and also the regular hand connectors that lead to the blue bent end tails. Also, and of course, it's acting as a, as a flying cape, of course. But although they do kind of get in the way of amount of room for that, or what I would kind of do is just slide in inwards like that. But yeah, and that's about it with Batman. And lastly, the Joker. Which also probably the most kind of unique of this trio of figures. Well, since of the distinct color scheme and also the one with the most uh, CCBS bone pieces is for that used in any of these figures. First off, you do have the uh, Hero Factory foot pieces, but in orange, like we saw on all versions of necks, of course. And also the uh, six long armor pieces, but in purple, of which of which great to see here. Even though we did get a little bit more on Voltix later in the year, of course. But also upper legs of which have Gumball Gray armor pieces, but although I think would have been nice if they were also purple, of course, and of course extending or friction joint again. And as for the chest plate here, which just about like with all most of the Hero Factory hero sets of Breakout kind of had, but in green. In which, but also with a uh, acid flower on the side. Although you couldn't always like mark that off if you wanted it to make it blend in with other hero factories, but whatever. And also, interesting piece to see here is this lightning bolt piece that is in half orange and half purple, which kind of neat. Also, nice to use for mocking, obviously. And as for the arms of which, kind of your standard uh, CCBS building to that, but also with a little spike piece in orange, and also this three long armor piece in uh, purple, also nice. 
Still nice. And it's now to one side, which which is supposed to be his little flower, or I mean his little gun, of course. Which comprises of mainly a few technic bits to that, which goes off with a, a lightsaber rod with a dish piece on it. And also on top part of which is the Hero Factory 2.0 uh, uh, engine armor piece, but in translucent orange, which nice and great to see there. It's now on to the head, which as you can see, since kind of representing the like comics version of the Joker, but like with the large massive smile and whatnot, but also those hair bits, which kind of pointy for that, so you might want to look out for the, watch out for those, but also with some kind of soft rubbery tips. that but also as I forgot to mention on the others is still having the screw thing in there which uh, carried on into the Chima available figure sets in 2013 it's now on the back side which as you see which a whole lot more CCBS uh, bone pieces going on for that but also with those extra large kind of armor pieces in purple still great then and also the lower half are the Benton tail pieces in purple. And of course these representing his coat tails, of course. So for the posability of this uh, Joker figure, I would mostly the same as most other CCBS style figures, well, except, but also these uh, back parts of which, which also do have provide plenty of extra posability. 21 points of movement to a horse. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think these which are quite a-okay, kind of good figures, but at least they all got a little bit better with the uh, Marvel or Star Wars buildable figure sets a few years later. Well, like, those got a little taller, but for the time being of these ones, well, at least they were kind of alright for that. But good thing with all of these which they were also good parts packs for that. Like get plenty of good green and purple in both cases, but also different, and also one translucent orange with Joker, of course. But although the headpiece is kind of useless, but unless if you were able to figure out how to use them in lock, then of course. But oh well. well but also for the uh, price points that they were, of like uh, fifteen to twenty dollars back at the day, back in the day. Well, they were kind of good for that, even though they may feel kind of the same size in the all as the uh, uh, 2010 and eleven uh, Hero Factory villain sets. But and of course, kind of similar piece counts and all. But yeah. And so now, if any of y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.